So, I went to the store yesterday, and I was looking for some more butter. Butter turned out to be about six bucks. That was too much. Six dollars for a thing of butter. Way too much. So, what I'm going to do, I got cream for about half the price. I'm going to show you guys that the cream and milk, all this dairy is actually a mixture, right? We know that. But it's actually a heterogeneous mixture and it's what we call a colloid so I'm gonna put this in here right it's suspended at this molecular level we can't tell the difference just by looking at it but what I'm going to show you guys and this is what they used to do back in the day when they would churn butter now we just have technology so you can just take a thing of cream the more fat the better 35 percent whipping cream and you can just turn it on and we'll go for about 10 minutes and I'll, I'll be back and I'll show you guys what we get. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna stop it here. And right now, we've got some other thing, right? We basically have whipped cream, all right? Put some sugar in there. You got something to go on top of your pancakes. But well, let's keep going. I'm gonna to try to pause it right at the right time and see if we can see it actually turn into butter, right, when the mixture splits here. Now we can see that the cream has kind of got into what looks something closer to like cottage cheese or something like that. Lumpy, you can see the butter starting to form. Okay, so it's coming out of mixture. So what we're going to come out with is we're going to come out with butter and butter milk. Okay, that's where all the whey protein and all those kind of stuff is. So let's keep going here and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop it there. You don't want to go past. You don't want to miss your opportunity. So I'm going to stop it here and see what we get. Okay, so I just poured this out. And what you can see is a bunch of some butter, but it's all in little bits. So this is the separation, right? This is the fat and everything else in the butter versus the buttermilk, right? Buttermilk pancakes, all that good stuff. So what you got to do, if you compress the butter and you squeeze out all the buttermilk. Ooh. Then you get something that looks a lot more like butter. 